All right. Well, let's uh, let's go catch up with Keith Bean, who has got more knowledge. He's forgot more than we've ever learned about how to use a ground blind to set up and kill turkeys. And he has flat figured it out with he a boat. He sure has. He's got it. <laughs> Thanks, Will. Thanks, Brad. Hey, let's talk about turkey hunting and ground blinds. We'll talk about the general tips and tricks and tactics, ones that cover both bow hunting and gun hunting, and then we'll jump into a much more specific bow hunting world. But let's get started on the general ones. Number one question asked all the time is, does a blind need to be set out in advance to kill a turkey? Absolutely not if your blind doesn't flap in the wind or shine in the sun. A bird, a turkey keys in on movement. A turkey's eyesight is more of a flat two-dimensional form. So they truly key in on any movement. It was described to me as if I was staring at a photograph and something moved on that photograph, it would startle me. And that's how a turkey's eyesight works. So you wanna make sure that nothing is moving and nothing is shining in the sun. As that bird is walking around or circling the blind, you wanna make sure that there's not such a glare that he picks it up as movement. So those are the two facets. Does the does a blind need to be set out in advance for a turkey? Not if it doesn't shine in the sun or flap in the wind. All right, so we touched base on, do we need to set our ground blind up there in advance? No. Any of the subspecies, pop it up right before they get around the corner and you're good as gold. Let's talk a little bit though about making that set even better. We'll talk about wearing black first and then we'll talk about decoy placement. You'll see in all of our videos that we wear a lot of black. Black on our hands, black on our hoods, on the face mask, black on your upper body. What that is doing is matching your surroundings. No different than camouflage, you know, blending into its surroundings. You're in a black back blind and when you wear black, you really become invisible. You have masked all your movement and that is super key on an animal that keys in on movement is you don't want them to see anything going on inside that blind that's going to startle them. So we've set the blind up, we're wearing black inside, they're masking our movement. What is the best decoy set we can put out there? I would recommend a tom and a hen and I would face them at the blind. It's a twofold reason. Number one is a turkey that comes out might pop out at 70 or 80 yards, hang up because your decoys are facing out. He assumes that that decoy can see him absolutely fine. And Mother Nature's rule of thumb is, is the hen will always go to him. So if you face it at the blind and he pops out, he's going to have to get closer in order to make eye to eye contact. He's gonna to have to get closer so that he knows that decoy can see him in all his glory. So he may circle around the blind. He might cut between the blind and the decoys, but he is going to get closer. If you're facing it out, he may just hang up. The other thing is a safety reason. If you place your decoys and face them out, if somebody slips up, let's say you're hunting public land and you're hunting with shotguns, somebody slips up through the grass, comes up, they don't see that blind because it's really well camouflaged, but they see a bright red head facing outward. They may touch it off and you are usually directly behind that turkey. So for safety reasons and for closing that distance on that big gobbler, face your decoys at the blind. It's really going to up your odds. 